Hello boys and girls this is Sachin sir welcoming you all to the one more exciting video of integers till now in the previous videos we have learned something very exciting right we have learned some rules of addition right if you remember opposite numbers also comparison also right all these things are important and now these rules that we learned for addition and the concept of opposite numbers right of integers both combined will help us to understand the subtraction of the integers actually they are going to make the rules of subtraction so let's have a look at it these rules of subtraction are nothing but formed from same rules of addition also and concept of opposite numbers so what we have presently over here is rules of addition in the rules of addition if we have same sign then we add the numbers and as a third second step we give bigger digit sign right and if we have opposite sign then we subtract the numbers and again we give the bigger digit sign right so what new we have actually in for the subtractions rule we never do the subtraction we turn the subtraction into addition by writing the opposite of the second number and there comes the concept of opposite number so over here after the negative sign the second number comes that is positive 3 and this positive 3 we will write in opposite of it and we will turn the subtraction into addition see i, th I think you are looking at the screen minus 5 plus and opposite of plus 3 is negative 3 is written and now i'm going to utilize same rules of addition same sign is there negative 5 negative 3 that makes it addition and we get the answer negative 8 and negative sign is given to it because of bigger digit sign in the second question also minus 3 is the second number and that will be turned to positive 3 as the first step of our answer right and subtraction is turned into addition and then again we will utilize the rules of addition and that gives the answer negative 2 let's try it one more time so as we have learned the rules of subtraction consist two step first step is to convert the subtraction into addition and how do we convert it by writing the opposite number of the second number right then we have to apply the same rules of addition the rules says if we have same sign then we add the numbers if we have opposite sign we then we subtract the numbers and in both the cases we have to give a bigger number sign or bigger digit sign to the answer right so let's try few examples so over here over here as a first example we have negative 9 minus negative 3 so our first step is what to convert this subtraction into addition by writing opposite of negative 3 so what is the opposite of negative 3 we it is as a positive 3 right so we will turn this subtraction into addition by writing addition by writing the opposite of the second number that is positive 3 right and then we have to apply the same rules of integer that we did for the addition now presently over here i have two numbers with opposite sign one is negative 9 another one is positive 3 we have to ignore this addition nice addition sign now right so as we have opposite sign then we will do subtraction so 9 minus 3 answer is 6 right and which is the bigger digit presently over here 9 is the bigger digit so what is the sign given to 9 it is negative so my answer will be negative 6 i hope i'm making some sense to you all right and here we got the answer first of all sub uh, answer of subtraction is 6 and then we have to give bigger number sign to the answer now let's look at this second question at the second question we have negative 5 minus positive 6 so we will turn first number will be written as it is and then instead of negative sign or the sub subtraction sign we will write addition sign right and how do we do this by writing the opposite of the second number so over here second number is positive 6 so what sir is going to do sir will write as negative 6 right and as we have both two numbers with same sign right My negative 5 negative 6 in the middle positive sign that is the addition sign we have to ignore it so what we have over here presently same sign in same sign what do we do we add the number so 6 plus 5 answer is 11 and which is the bigger digit presently over here 5 or 6 6 we know it and 6 has negative sign so my answer will be again negative 11 correct so as we have tried few examples let's start with the table here format the table we have 
few numbers on left side and few numbers at the top right and what operation we have to do is mentioned over here and that is subtraction right so very first we have to make the question the question will be as we have 3 over here first of all so we will write 3 then subtract sign and then 6 then we, we will have 3 minus 6 as, a, as our question and same goes on the other side also so here we are with the first question so we have 3 minus 6 on first first column and second column have 3 minus negative 4 right so as a first step what do we do we turn the subtraction into addition right and for that what we must do we must write opposite of the second number so presently over here second number is neg 6 that is positive 6 and over here second number is negative 4 here the middle negative sign is the subtraction sign okay so after subtraction sign no sign is given that means 6 has a positive sign okay i hope i made it very clear to you and now and we know what is the opposite of positive 6 it is negative 6 so what sir is going to do i will write i will turn that subtraction into addition and then after the addition it will be opposite number of the 6 which is given in the previous step right and the same goes with the second column so over here after the negative sign or after the subtraction sign we have negative 4 so it will be turned to positive 4 correct because it's our first step of the subtraction and here it is the question for you and after turning that subtraction into the addition we have to use the rules that we learned for the addition of the integers so what we have in the first column we have 3 plus negative 6 means two numbers with the opposite sign for the opposite sign we do subtraction and then we give the bigger digit sign so subtraction answer 6 minus 3 it results in 3 and the bigger digit sign is 6 that is negative and so answer will be negative 3 in the first column whereas in the second column we have 3 plus positive 4 right both the signs are same positive 3 positive 4 that means it is addition and again bigger digit sign will be given to you answer and that will be the positive the second question framed will be 8 minus 6 right that middle minus is the subtraction sign so we have second number as a positive 6 again it will be turned into negative 6 right and as we have opposite sign positive 8 and minus 6 we will do subtraction and that will give us give us the answer positive 2 correct for the second column we have we will have 8 minus negative 4 and again same rules are there this negative sign will be turned to addition right first number will remain as it is and second number that is negative 4 will be turned into positive 4 and that gives us two numbers with the same sign and we know all how to operate on it i guess so and we have 8 plus positive 4 and that is the same positive 12 because we have to give bigger number sign as both the numbers are positive then of course positive will be given to the answer right the third question will be negative 3 minus 6 the way i told you that minus is nothing but the subtraction sign so we have positive 6 as the second number and this subtraction will be turned to addition by writing the opposite of it correct so what we have over here we have two numbers that is negative 3 negative 6 same sign then we add 6 plus 3 answer is 9 and bigger number sign is again negative so we have negative 9 as the answer then we have negative 3 minus negative 4 that subtraction will be turned to addition by writing opposite of negative 4 that will be positive 4 that you can see in the second step right and what we have over here now one is negative that is negative 3 and one is positive that is positive 4 right and we have to do the subtraction for that part opposite sign right and what we get the answer yes it's 1 and then bigger number sign that will make it positive 1 so fourth question will be negative 2 and min negative 6 or minus 6 right that will be written as negative 2 plus negative 6 uh, because our first step is to turn the subtraction into addition by writing the opposite number and what we have now we have negative 2 and negative 6 that is same sign same sign then we add then we give bigger number sign and it is it should be tip off on your tongue now right so what we get the answer negative 8 and same goes with the second column and there we have negative 2 minus negative 4 that gives us the answer positive 2 i hope i'm making some sense to you right so shall we try it one more time 
let's go now you are pretty familiar with the rules of subtraction now here is one more table in which i will not do anything now i will just show you the sums done over here and what we have to what you have to do is to find out whether any mistake is done in it or not consider it as an activity so over here we have questions written steps followed and answers written what you must do you have to check all the sums presently that you are looking at the screen and you have to find out whether mistakes are done in this one or not and if it is done then correct it and don't forget to mention it in the comment section below okay you have to say whether it is mistake done or not and then if it is done then mention in the comment section below so let's move on with the next part of the table okay we have zero and positive seven my boys and girls whenever you have zero in the subtraction or addition keep it in mind zero added or subtracted by any number zero added or subtracted by any number then answer becomes the same number that we have along with the zero okay so no need to follow any step if you have three minus zero answer will be positive three eight minus zero answer will be positive eight negative three minus zero answer will be negative three and same goes with the last one answer will be negative two and that is the easiest part if you get zero in subtraction or addition isn't it right zero invented by indians proud of it okay so next we have three minus very first step we have to make the question questions are framed already so as our first step we convert that subtraction into addition by writing the opposite numbers the way you are looking at the screen right presently over here right so what we have over here it is subtraction it is turned to addition right and how it is turned by writing the opposite of the second number over here can can you say it yes positive 7 it's suppose it is negative 7 and that help us to turn the subtraction into addition correct so let's get going now over here we have two numbers with the opposite sign positive 3 and negative 7 so what we have in opposite sign subtraction right so 7 minus 3 answer will be 4 and bigger number sign is of 7 bigger digit sign so we have negative 4 as our answer so same goes with the second step also second question 8 minus positive 7 subtraction will be will be turned to addition by writing opposite of the plus 7 and that is already written on the screen right so what we get the answer presently over here positive 1 right third one again same goes with the uh, steps subtraction will be turned to addition then second number will be written as a positive number and we have again a minus 10 as our answer so boys and girls let me clear one rule for you all doing subtraction of the integer is nothing but adding the opposite of the second number let me repeat if we want to subtract the integers it is nothing but adding the opposite of the number or second number or number which comes after the negative sign okay subtraction sign so over here we have answer final answer as a negative 9 so as we have clearly understood the rules of subtraction of the integers and if you do not please do not forget to mention it in the comment section below so that i can make one more video to clear out your doubts okay so those who have completed the understanding of the integers let's try some activity this activity consists mixed questions you can see over here there are some addition and there are some subtraction so you have to identify the operation also and then you have to operate it according to proper rules correct and don't forget to mention the answers in the comment section below waiting for you guys i'm really happy to teach you all because you respond your responses to the answers and questions are marvelous you are doing great boys and girls keep it up